Hello, hello, hello. Shauna here from Wellness Seeker. On a Monday live, like it has been an absolute age since it was the last time I did this. I, it must be months now since the last time I done a live video on a Monday. And note that it's not at 10 p.m. at night, it's around lunchtime, because that's going to be the new format. So it's been an absolute age and I've missed it so much. I don't know how you have felt, hey Shauna. Um, I don't know how, how you have felt, but I have missed the live video. I've missed the live interaction. I've missed chatting these and I've missed giving you the best of what the Wellness Seeker has to offer. And I suppose we've been missing for so long because we've been building the Wellness Seeker and there's something that has been beyond my dreams. So um, we have a new website, I don't know if you have seen that, I'll put the link up for you. We have new team members, we're growing the academy. It has just been an epic few months and we, as we have been growing and developing, we've had to kind of reaffirm everything. So that's why I haven't been. It's so lovely to see you Caroline too, so lovely to see you Zan. It's just wondrous to be here on a Monday again and every Monday from now on. But today's Monday is really sharp and really, uh, really quick and really to the point. I wanted to drop by and ask you one question. And I know this question is not gonna be an easy question, but you know how we roll here. This is a, a really important question. And I think it's a question that's great for September as well, because September is a brilliant month for change. It's a brilliant month for reevaluating. I don't know about you at the moment, we're reevaluating everything at home. And it's a great month to kind of get into the spirit of change and newness. I think it's much better than January. September has always been a better month than the Wellness Seeker for Change and always for me personally. So my question for you today at this lunchtime, on Monday lunchtime is, what is possible for you? Do you know? That's a big question. And if you take the time to answer that question, if you take the time to ask it, and if you take the time over this week to answer it, leave your answers below. But what's possible for you? this year what is possible for you in the coming years if you take the time to listen to what comes do you really slow down and listen to what you have in your heart and in your head about what's possible you will see the mindset within you you'll see the blueprint you'll see the message you'll see the tone you'll see the shape of what you believe is possible. And that gives you an indication of your mindset, your current mindset. It gives you an indication of what you think is possible for you, where you're going, where you're heading. It answers and asks a lot, a lot of questions. What is possible? Where are you going? What do you want? And do you think it's possible to get there? So when we ask this question, what is possible for me, we sometimes we get these visual references of what's possible. If that is dark and dank and not nice, then we'll want to kind of explore why that is. Why is it not possible? Why do you believe this is not possible? This is so big for you. Because underneath what is not possible will be limiting beliefs. There'll be things that you've told yourself about yourself. There'll be things that you've told yourself about this world around you that will stop you getting what you want out of life. And that's where this question will take you. It'll take you to showing you your mindset and then it should take you underneath it. It should take you underneath that and it should let you see what you believe about yourself and the world around you. It is a huge question. It's a question that I, I know that I had huge difficulty back in the day that I believed that there was nothing out there and it had come from difficult childhood experiences, all of that stuff that none of us are, none, none of us are immune from. But that question for me, when I would ask it, would let me see darkness outside, let me see lethargy, let me see nothingness. It was really an awful, an awful answer to a great question. And there was a few things that helped me break free from that. One was undoing the limiting beliefs that were attached to it. And the second one was rebuilding, rebuilding my sense of self, rebuilding kind of what I knew was possible. Now, there's, as you know, if you follow the Wellness Seeker, all of the work that we do, all the transformational work in one to one and in all our programs is all about identifying and undoing the limiting beliefs. But I wanted to kind of show you two books today that, I, that I've used personally and that I've used professionally. I know some of these are, are therapists and counsellors that are on here. 
the two books that I feel that does that job. One book, and it's going to be such a surprise, but if you can get your hands on this book, look at that for a book. Look, it's falling apart at the seams. Phil McGrath. I know that Dr. Phil McGrath, who would, who would have known it? But he wrote a book called Self Matters. I don't know if you can see it. And that book there is one of the best and most detailed um, books for self-discovery. So if you're not sitting down with a therapist, if you're not in one of our programs, if you're not working with me, <laughs> Sean and you, it was Self Matters. If you're not working with me one to one, if you're not working in our programs, then get your hands on that book because that book will light the way, at least part of the way. It is a brilliant book, Anna. It is, absolutely is. It will take you step by step through some of that limiting stuff that you're holding. It's amazing. Now, the other one might be another surprise as well. And don't be fooled by the title in this book. It is not about richness. It's about richness of spirit, richness of soul, richness of experience, richness of this world. And the second book is, no, that's an old one, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is an amazing book. I think Napoleon Hill was born in 1889. I think that's when he was born. So this book is a old, 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 old book. I think he wrote this book in, a, in 1920. It is the first ever secret. It is the, it is the basis of all Tony Robbins work. It's the basis of most coaches around, uh, around all those big coaches. It's the basis of their work. It's the basis of the secret, It's but, but nobody ever talks about it. And it's a man called Napoleon Hill. Um, and he talks about, he's not doing the undoing work, he's doing the forward thinking work, creating the possibility, creating the life that you want, creating the world that you want, creating this dream world that you want. And that book goes somewhere towards absolutely, you know, setting down the foundation for that, it's amazing. So I would suggest those two books. And the other one thing that I would suggest, and I've talked about this before, is a gratitude book. Your own gratitude journal. Start gratitude. Just kind of basic gratitude stuff. Now there's loads of videos on the site and on the, on the website and on the Facebook page to help you with gratitude if you're new to gratitude. But those are the three things that I think is amazing. And if you can do those, that you will change that question and do what's possible. Everything's possible. Anything's possible. And you really start to get that good mindset. For us in Wellness Seeker, what we intend to do is we intend to support you over the next few weeks, over, over the next actually six or seven weeks, where we're doing a lot of work on mindset through live videos so i will be bringing wee nuggets of greatness wee nuggets of brilliance for which is what the original uh, live shows were all about brilliance for you every monday at lunchtime and they will be backed up with some lovely content that you can download some lovely cheat sheets some maybe some lovely links but we are going to go we're going to go better and bigger at all of this in the coming months and now that the team is in place, now that the website is in place, and you're going to be able to watch it here live. And if you can't watch it live, watch the replay, that's fine. And you're going to be able to watch it on the website as well, because we'll be uploading all of our brilliant videos onto the website. So great things to come. But for you today, what's most important is what is possible for you? Ask the question. Get ready for the answer. Open your heart and mind up for the answer. What is possible? And are you willing to settle on what's possible? Because when I think about what's possible, I am now in a position after all the hard work to know that anything and everything's possible and it's a very, very exciting place to be. So join me in that exciting place, it'll be great. So do some of that homework tonight. It's not a big deal, not a big question. And if you're brave enough, if you're brave enough, answer below so that we can all kind of get this conversation going and we can create more of what's possible. Thanks for joining me. It's been lovely. It's been lovely, Una. Thanks, Izzy. Thanks, Pamela. Thank you so much. It has been so brilliant again. Um, I don't even want to go now. I just want to kind of hang out with you all and enjoy. So thanks so much and I shall see you all again next Monday. Um, or around lunchtime, just a wee nugget for lunchtime and we'll keep going and we'll have loads of other stuff. We have loads of um, we've loads of live videos, we have loads of collaborations lined up, we've loads of good stuff. So here's to more live videos every Monday and thanks again for joining me. Thanks Sharon. See you all soon. Bye.